morning, everybody. It is morning. It is. Oh, let me look. I don't even, I even look what time it is. It is way too early. It is 5:30 in the morning. Or we sent over here to the port. Pick people up. They're probably not going to get here until 6:37 o'clock. <laughs> Anyhow, I figured y'all might want to look and see what the ferry terminal is like. You have to pay to get in here. 12 pesos to get in. Which I didn't know about. Good thing I brought my wallet. I had no clue. We came in before Gemma, I assume, must have paid them. But I didn't know you were talking to Messiah, so I don't know what they're talking about every time. Alright, let's take a look at the port, guys. And this is the... Oh, let me go to the widescreen. This is, I guess, part of the terminal here. It's got Dunkin' Donuts in it. And open check-in center i guess that's where you maybe check in to go it on the ferry i tried to ask when the ferry is getting in but um that was a little problematic so i'm not 100 percent sure when it's coming in and over here they have the coast guard offices and various uh government offices and of course there's the other side of the gate CRs. Oh, let's take a look at CRs. See up there. Nice CRs. Or probably not. <laughs> Although I'm usually very, sometimes very much surprised. The lights don't work. Let's see. Can I turn the light on? Doesn't let me turn the light on. After I started the video. Smelly in here and no toilet paper. No paper towels. Lights aren't working either. No soap. Ah, keep it clean, but they don't give us toilet paper, they don't give us soap. Okay, caution under maintenance. <laughs> and again, caution under maintenance. And I have the toilet paper holder, but not the toilet paper. And it's not unusual that it's smelly in here because they'll put the, the wipes with poop on them in the trash can. So that's, you gotta kind of live with that. But no toilet seat on that one. Oh, amazing, toilet seat on that one. No paper towel. Well, that's enough of CRs. <laughs> yes, sir, toilet paper. Now let's see what we go in here. See where this goes. Ah, you can't get in. This is oh, I can at least walk out here. There's one of the ferries out there. These were, I guess, older cashier windows that they're no longer using. They've all got benches and things stuck in front of them. And possibly this is one they are using, but I see, don't see nobody. Not sure what these are. I mean, this might be for uh, various people here, maintenance people or something. One of the ferries. Another one. And it is raining very lightly. I'm not allowed to go beyond, I guess, the uh, fence. Noticing sometimes with security here in the Philippines, it's sort of like on an honor system. They they put fences up like this, but you could easily get past this. But like a little gap in the fence back there, you just accept that most people will be honest. I don't find any people here pretty honest all the time. At least here on Negros. I 
And here is, I assume, the Ocean Jet. That's the fast one. Here's the Dunkin' Donuts, which is open. ATM. Lots of ATMs all over the place here. Can't use an ATM right now. I lost track of my wallet. And I did get all new cards sent. And uh, cannot get my Wells Fargo card here, but I can get my Charles Schwab card sent to my house. Next day aired, but that was three days ago. And I guess this is where you go into the terminal. Or into get on the ferry. This is where you go in to get on the ferry here? Yeah. Yeah, okay. And without a ticket, I can't go there. No ticket, no terminal <laughs> fee, thank you. Hold. I don't know what that's about. Terminal fee, 15 pesos. What ferry is this one? Which ferry is this? Sorry, sir. Where, which which uh, ferry? All the ferries, sir. All the ferries. Oh, just terminal. Yeah. Okay. Do you have the ticket already? No, I'm picking up friends. Uh, sorry? I'm just picking up friends. Ah, okay. Uh, I can't go up up into there, right? Yeah, yeah, you have to have a ticket to go beyond. Okay, thank you. Thank you for the Please. Uh, the rain has picked up a little bit. It's not that bad. All right. <laughs> There's stairs here. Look at this. Very narrow, little six, not even six inches wide. Get used to shit like that in the Philippines. Oh, it is raining. I got to cover up my phone a little bit so I can get the video in. But do this quickly. Can't go further anyway, just get a little bit more video here. <laughs> uh, this is, uh, I guess, the Port Authority building. little roof here so I can <laughs> I don't even have an umbrella with me today. Should have brought one. Bar. This thing has four presets on it for zooming. Which come in handy. I guess this is for loading cars. And that might be very I'm hoping maybe that'll be the ferry I'm waiting on. It's not. It's hard to say. Another vehicle ferry. And there's quite a these aren't the only ferries. As you go up to coast, there's other ferry points, especially for um, vehicles. Hello. The uh, ferry from Sikihor, when's it due? Sir? The ferry for Sikihor? When when's that come in? Coming. I think uh six thirty is coming. Six thirty. <laughs> what time is it now? Uh five thirty nine. Five thirty, <laughs> of course. Thank you, Salamat. Well. <laughs> there you go, everybody. I am definitely a little early. And I'd pay 12 pesos to get in here. And I don't know whether I should head over to uh, Ground Zero or I have to pay again to get back in. I don't know. But it's only 12 pesos. So, luckily, a lot of the fees in the Philippines for that kind of stuff are small. But, uh, so it's not that big a deal. But you can see it's under the roof there. Well. 
I won't be able to upload this till later. This phone doesn't have internet. This phone turned out to be a very definite uh, bad investment. It's a good camera. And that's about it. Got a very good camera in it. But it uh, doesn't pick up a signal very well. And uh, the antenna, even on Wi-Fi, doesn't seem to work very well. And it was extremely expensive. And it has almost no memory in it. And uh, I'm going to have to go check see if I can go over to like ground zero and come back. Let's go find out. Ugh. Ah, more people waiting on the ferry. If I can leave my trike here and just walk over to uh, Ground Zero. No, it is raining, it's not that bad. That makes me wish I'd grabbed an umbrella. I didn't even think to grab one this morning. I normally don't grab one because I have either my various trikes that are covered by that. Find out if I can drive out and come back in again. I don't know. There is no place to sit and wait in here. There's no little coffee house. Ah, what do we have here? Another office. Oh, there's another office of some kind. One thing you'll find in the Philippines is an extreme lack of chairs. There doesn't seem to be chairs anywhere. This is weird. I wonder why they did this. They don't have this like deck yet. Oh, I see it cracks in it. Maybe that's what's wrong. It's starting to break. Stop people from going out on it. Let me find out here. I'm here way too early. Is there a way I, if I drive out, can I get back in without paying again, yeah, or I gotta yeah, pay? Yeah, you should. Just sell the you ticket. Should, uh, oh, okay. yeah, the exit is there. Yeah, I know that. I just wish I was up here. I'll walk over here and ask first. <laughs> oh, there you go. oh man, I can hear the rain get ready to come down. Yeah, it's coming down now. Anyway, I just got told I can. So that's good. So have a good one, everyone. There it is. The I uh, walk around the. Uh, Gumagetti Ferry Port, and uh, you can hop cars onto the ferries here, or trucks and people and motorcycles and anything you want. Uh, not all that expensive. I think it's like last I checked, it seemed like it was like 20 bucks over to. Uh, I think I was checking the prices to Cebu from up in um, Cebu Land, from Cebu Land to Cebu. Now Cebu Land is sort of spelled with an S, not a C. And it's Subalan, I think that's how you pronounce it. I don't know. But it's north side of Dumaguete, north side of the airport, just above that, a little ways up there to where, where you can jump on the ferry up there. And uh, that's where I was checking the price. And I think at Tan High, I asked the price over there to see the seafood. But every ferry price is different. They're not going to be the same. All right. And they change, I imagine, based on the price of fuel because <laughs> it's expensive. All right, guys, have a good one. 
Okay, I'm gonna hopefully tie, uh, tie this into the other video, but this is right outside the port when you're leaving, so you know it's there. It's like a concession stand right outside the uh, port exit. And you can get all sorts of stuff here, water and sodas, even food. Depends on what time of day with the food. I guess they're waiting for customers. <laughs> Oh. Good morning. Good morning. like one of the ferries is coming or going just now. I just heard some horns. I don't know if you can hear that. I don't know what this is over here. Looks like a restaurant in there, but I don't... Oh, okay. It is a restaurant. Oh, pool hall. Hey. Hello. Where are you going? Oh, I'm just waiting for friends on the ferry. And I do a video blog, so I'm showing what's uh, here in the, near the ferry terminal. Oh. Hello, good morning. Good morning. I'm Botag. Oh, you got a pool hall, pool table back there, I see. You're a bloggy, bloggy. Blogging, yes. What's for what's for breakfast today? What is eggs? Hmm. A pool table back here. Oh la la. Oh. Uh, what? Is this the Nothing. Oh no. <laughs> uh, what are we cooking? Ah, uh, what are we cooking here? Uh, America. America. Uh, where do you come from? Philippines. <laughs> oh, really? I would have never guessed. <laughs> I don't know. You could be from Thailand. You could have been from Australia. I'm actually about to rent, possibly rent a house from a Filipina. Spent most of her life in Australia. Yes, I have a wife. And she's been in Filipina? Filipino, yeah. Do you and have a kid? Yeah, two. Mm, yes. <laughs> you? Uh, Children? Uh, I, uh, I'm uh, i separating. Uh, I have uh, five uh, kids. Five? Yeah. My goodness. It's one thing you Filipinos are very good at is making babies. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You're very good at making babies. Lots and lots of babies. Okay, well, Salama, thank you very much. This thank your you restaurant? So much. This huh? your restaurant? Uh, 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 with uh, my, my co-worker. Ah, okay. Yeah. What's it cost for a meal? Yeah. Well, how much for a meal? Uh, this again? one is uh, uh, rice is 10 and then uh, egg is 15. Uh -huh. so it's 20, uh, uh, so 10, 10 25. 20, 25 yeah. pesos. Yeah. Okay. For some eggs and rice. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Salama. Thank you so much. There's some other, they got hot dogs up here, eggs, and this is peppers, and I believe it's eggs, and that's probably, no, no, I had breakfast, I believe this is eggplant? This, yeah, eggplant, eggplant. yeah, and this is, uh, this one, uh, fish, fish, fish sabal, okay, okay, you eat, uh, no, no, I, I already ate this morning, yeah, and hot dogs, hot dogs, and then egg. Mm -hmm. Okay, well let's move on down the road here. It's gonna end up being a long video. I wasn't expecting. All. Oh my! I kind of want to go down places like that. But one of these days I have to get. One of Helen's brothers to come with me for a walk down thing like that, just so I have somebody who speaks the language and is big enough to be of use. Helen this would be of no use if somebody were to attack me, that's for sure. She's too small. She's good for a translation and that's it. But her one brother, Jean-Ri, is a pretty good size dude. He runs a pedicab here in town. But I would like to go down some of these and video back in there.
You can see this is going into the poorer sections of Dumaguete. Back in here. I know the houses on the far side over there of the port are very poor. Now, I hope I'm getting this right here. You'll see this, si this in signage here quite a bit. Oop, too close. The scrap. And what I believe it basically means is like it's yummy or juicy. Helen told me a while back, but I'm trying to remember. I don't think I'm remembering it correctly right now. And here we are up at the uh, ship for rent. The building looks like a ship. It was designed to look like a ship. It doesn't really look that much like a ship, but a little bit. And if you go up this way, you go up to uh, Sullivan, or uh, the Sullivan Hospital, if you keep going up that way. out here this is a very very busy area when the uh, when the town is awake time of day it is not awake earlier I did a video on some connex buildings that right that's right down here Okay. Alright, this video is going to get way too long. Ooh. These guys don't cut your break. I really would like to wonder how many people get run over by the buses every year because they drive way too fast. Pedicab drivers are usually pretty good. Deep knee drivers can be a little quick. All right, folks, that'll do it. Bye-bye.